All right, so this is a prototype of my face change water chiller for my Retsail X700 eBay clone. Uh, you find these all over eBay. This specific model is the 100 watt, which is actually 80 watts, more on that later. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys a brief description of what's going on and hopefully there's gonna be a part two where I properly assemble this, make all the corrections, because there's a few issues, and put it inside the machine or an enclosure. Uh, we'll see, but um, brief description first. Reservoir, water goes to the pump, the Ziliang D5 goes into the machine. The machine has on the input a water flow sensor. It goes through the tube, out into a copper water plug, which is on the cold side of the pelter chip, and then it goes to back to the reservoir. This is a K-type thermocouple, and which goes into a um, Omron E5CC uh, uh, temperature controller. And uh, issue number one is I'm not using the proper relay. This is an AC switching relay. I need to switch DC 12 volts, so I have to learn the hard way that that doesn't work. Issue number two is that if you notice, the chip itself is square. I think it's like 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter. But um, there's a cylindrical extrusion on the extrusion on the heatsink, which doesn't make complete contact with the chip. I was hoping, this is another one right here. I was hoping that the chip would have most of the phase change ha have go on in the middle of it. That isn't the case, it's actually evenly distributed. So the periphery, which isn't making contact, ends up heating up, which heats up the whole chip. And after that, the phase change efficiency just goes to chip and the whole goes to shit and the whole thing just becomes a massive resistor. Uh, another thing is that this is a 15 amp chip, which is far more than I need and ends up producing a lot of heat, which my heat sink can't manage. Uh, I don't expect the chip to have to work constantly because it is quite powerful for what I'm going to be using it for. This tube is never going to run at 100% and never for, you know, extended periods. Another thing is that my controller is telling me that there's something wrong with the water flow. This is the water flow sensor right here. And I believe what's happening is there's a lot of restriction in the water cooling loop. Like there's a kink right here. I have, an, I have the uh, cold, block, cold plate right here, which is causing additional restriction. And this is rated at no restriction, 1500 liters per hour. In contrast to, this is what originally came with the machine. It's a 60 watt motor. That one's uh, 18 to 20 watts. And also it has almost double the flow rate. So that's the issue. And yeah, hopefully after I replace the relay, put this in a nice enclosure, use a proper heat sink, uh, replace the pelt here and uh, even out the kinks. Hopefully that'll solve the uh, water flow issues. Hopefully I'm going to have a part two for you guys where I show you the final product. Thanks for watching.